A lot of times when I'm working in here, I like to work in on several files. I also like to work in code view. So a lot of times what you can do is you can use command tilde or control tilde to actually switch between open files, the tabs. So if you've got a ton of files open, copy, paste, or you're trying to work between things, you can do that. The other thing, too, is suppose you're working on a page, you're in design view, and you want to switch over to code view. You can use control tilde to do that. So con control tilde allows you to switch between design and code view. I do that a lot because I'm always having to like quickly go in and do some editing, but um, that's something that's kind of neat and easy. Uh, some other things, too. If you guys use the string of code down at the bottom of the page down here, I tend to use this a ton. By right-clicking down in the code down here, we have Quick Tag Editor as well as the ability to set class and ID on those tags down there. What I tend to do a lot, especially if I'm working with CSS and I want to apply a class or some kind of ID or something, I can use Quick Tag Editor to go out there and actually insert multiple classes or my ID or whatever I want to do out there. So it immediately, obviously, affects the code, which is really pretty nice. So I tend to use that a lot. The other thing, too, is if you're doing a lot of CSS, like I said, the CSS panel on the right over here um, how many of you guys use the CSS panel in Dreamweaver? Okay. If you use CSS, obviously you'll probably be using this. There's a couple quick tips for this. I tend to use the current a lot. I never did, um, but the current setting over in the CSS panel allows you to see specific specificity, if you can say that 10 times real fast. So it actually gives you the, the rules for engagement, so to speak. So if I have something selected out here, like a bunch of text, and I take a look over here in current, I can actually see what the last object applied or whatever wins is sitting down here at the bottom and then it shows me all the rules that have been applied. So if I look at the top up here, it's everything that's applied to that object. And one thing I like to do is go to the code a lot to be able to edit something or edit it here in the panel. So if, if you guys are either on all or current, you can come to any one of these properties and option double click or alt double click and it will launch the CSS and take you right to the style itself. So you can do a quick edit within the CSS, which is really kind of nice. So like I said, that's option or alt double click. The other thing too, if you work in the code at all, and I tend to do that, and one of the things I, I mentioned this morning, and I'll kind of finish this one up here, but if you tend to use the CSS panel and the properties panel together, I, I tend to kind of steer clear of the properties panel in a lot of ways because it makes inline styles or it makes uh, embedded styles. But if you do use this, suppose you go out here and you start doing your formatting, and it starts ripping off styles, style one, style two, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Like I said, whenever you see somebody who's built a website and they do CSS for the first couple times like, like I did, the, the, you'll realize that they're starting to make all these styles. If you want to get those out of the page, there is a way to get them out, okay, to put them in an external CSS. So on this page in particular, if I switch over to the code view and I go up to where the styles are located, which are usually, like I said, internal, I got them sitting right here, I have the ability to come up to one of those styles in the code that's internal, right click on it, and I can see down here I have CSS styles, and if I scroll down, way down, <laughs> Give it a break. Come on now. You can do it. Hold on. I'm just going to put my cursor in there. Come on. CSS styles way down. There we go. I can move the rules doing this. A lot of times you can cut and paste. That works too. There's a couple export functions. But if I go to move CSS rules, what it lets me do is move these rules to an external style sheet that I've made right now or I already have one chosen. So I'm going to choose main CSS. And if I click OK, the great thing about this is it literally cuts them out and it will stick it in there if I want to. So I can choose whatever styles I want to go. So if I didn't do both of them, I could select both styles there, come out to CSS styles, and what it does, it actually gives me a dialog box, once I get this done, that says, are you sure you want to move these? And if there's anything that's already named that, it'll tell you. So it'll give you this little handy dialog box, OK? So there's a lot of different things in there we can do. The other thing I want to mention really quick is if you're doing a lot of code work, if you guys have links to anything in the code, if you right-click on the link, you can actually open those files directly from the code. By right-clicking, there's an open CSS or whatever you guys are linking to externally, which is really pretty cool. So, so a, lot of, a lot of code tips, things like that. Um, and the last one I want to throw out here, and then I'll, I'll hand it over. If you work with the code a lot, I tend to go out and try and do my own tabbing and my own setup and make it look all pretty and everything. But Dreamweaver actually has an apply source formatting built in. Apply source formatting does a lot of the tabbing and things like that for you, so it cleans up the code and makes it pretty. Okay, So that's a nice, easy thing you can do for your code. Other than that, there are lots of tips. I could keep going, but um, there are keyboard shortcuts you guys can set in Dreamweaver if you didn't know about that. I actually, whenever I insert divs, I've set a keyboard shortcut for Command Option Z and I immediately insert a div instead of having to go up to the menus or go up to the insert panel. 
So you guys can set your own keyboard shortcuts, which is really nice. So anyway, so those are for me. Those are my shortcuts. So I guess I'll hand it over.